Are you serious? Are you serious, folks? We just, we had an X1 four class event, which lasted nearly two hours. This powerful solar flare, solar flare, excuse me, has arrived on the earth after erupting from the active region of the sun dubbed region 2035, where a sunspot reached its peak intensifying late Thursday. Now, region 2035 is a rotating out of view and it won't pose any danger for much longer, but could in the immediate future, according to the U.S. Space Weather Prediction Center, X-class solar flares are considered the most intense of such events and the accompanying numbers provides a relative strength of measurement with an X-2 being twice as strong as an X-1. And of course an X-3 would be three times stronger. So this was an X-1.4. This was a very powerful solar flare. The picture I'm showing you is not the actual solar flare itself. That is a solar flare, but that's not the one that I'm in reference to. Solar flares are created when highly stressed magnetic field lines rising above the sun's photosphere layers are pushed together and accelerate hot ionized gas ejecting into space. So the strongest flare of this year so far was, was an X4.9 that we had back in February, while the most intense flare of the current 11-year solar cycle was an X6.9 back in August of 2011. But the cycle has thought to have peaked during 2013, but on Friday, the flare uh, that just, there was this, this X.14 solar flare proves that the sun is still uh, very active. Some solar flares can result in, of course, CMEs and this intense burst of solar wind and magnetic fields. A CME did result from Friday's flare, but was not air, uh, aimed directly at Earth. It, so it did not result in a geomagnetic storm or other issues. But guess what, folks? We have reports it did create and disrupt some radio uh, communication did affect some radio uh, communication with Earth and satellites. And so this, even though it wasn't a direct hit, the strength of that X-Class 1.4 uh, was strong enough to disrupt some radio communications. Folks, if an X-Class, let's say X-4 class, was to be a direct strike or hit on the Earth, it could fry the power grids. It could shut down uh, uh, computer systems and communication systems. It could fry satellites racing past the Earth. These are things that people never even think about. But one thing's for sure, it is scientifically now being proven that solar flares are affecting earthquakes on the planet. And we have seen a ton of earthquakes in the last two to three weeks some of them very significant, including that 8.2 that hit Chile and 7.7 .7 that hit the Solomon Islands and others that have been quite a bit of earthquakes, quite large. Matter of fact, in the last 24 hours, we've had 36 earthquakes that have hit the earth. I'm just looking and glancing and see there has been a 4.7 in Fiji, a 4.4 in Mexico, 4.3 in Indonesia, there was a 4.7 in the Marina Islands, 4.5 in Indonesia, 4.9 in Chile, 4.7 in Russia, 5.6 in the Philippines, 5.2 Indonesia, 5.1 Russia, 5.1 Papua New Guinea, 5.1 China, and a bunch of others, a bunch of others. So there's been a lot of activity we continue to monitor it. The Bible said there will be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and distress of nations with perplexity. The sea and the waves roaring. And men's hearts would fail them for fear of things coming upon the earth. 
and we know that we're in a very strong galactical uh, time frame of as we enter into this galactical belt of asteroids racing by the Earth. And even NASA is now saying that we're three to ten times more probable of being hit with a catastrophic asteroid of biblical proportions and it could happen at any time because there are just too many of them coming too fast toward the earth or by the earth. Um, even the book of Revelation chapter 8 tells us that we will get hit with a mountain on fire burning like a lamp that will hit the earth and kill a third of the fish in the sea and, and destroy a third of the ships in the sea and bring great catastrophic event to the planet. My thing is, if you're not saved, why in the world would you be risking and taking chances with your eternal soul unless you give your life to Jesus Christ? Jesus said, except you repent, you shall all likewise perish. It's important to know you must be born again and not only to escape the wrath of God that will fall upon this earth, but to receive the joy of the Lord, which is your strength. So, uh, call upon the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Repent of your sins. It's time to be born again. We're living in the last days. Are you serious? What? Are you serious? Something biblical is going on with the signs of the second coming of Christ.